have taken the earth. Following Columbus, each time the Spanish encountered a native individual or group in the course of their travels, they were ordered to read to the Indians a statement informing them of the truth of Christianity. Hmm, dig that. Who brought Christianity, huh? Yeah. And the necessity to swear immediately allegiance to the Pope and to the Spanish crown. So when you're dealing with Christianity, you're swearing your allegiance to the Pope. After this, if the Indians refused or even delayed in their acceptance, or more likely their understanding of the recrementiento, the statement continued. I certify to you that with the help of God, we will powerfully enter into your country and shall make war against you in all ways and manners that we can. Mm and shall subject you to the yoke and obedience of the church and of their highnesses. We shall take you and your wives and your children and shall make slaves of them. Whoa. And as such shall sell and dispose of them as their highnesses may command. And we shall take your goods and shall do all the mischief and damage that we can as to the vessels who do not obey and refuse to receive their Lord and resist and contradict him. Who's playing God on earth? The weak have taken the earth. They preyed on the local communities. Same thing going on in our neighborhoods. Already plagued and feebled, forcing them to supply food and women and slaves and whatever else the soldiers might desire. Reportedly, as they were tying him to the stake, dig this, a Franciscan friar urged him to take jeepers to his heart so that his soul might go to heaven rather than descend into hell. Hatui replied that if heaven was where the Christians went, he would rather go to hell. Wow. If you would like to check out my special video, Happy Thanks Killing, you can go to my website, g-toprofit.vhx.tv. On that note, peace and shalom.